the true freshman from Butte who has become a hero in a short time in the state of Montana. He's going to run the ball and then fake the run and throw it to McCutcheon out of the backfield for a nice first play from scrimmage immediately into North Dakota State territory. Malat play fake. And he's going to step up and fake a pass, sort of stumbling ahead. He is no shy runner. This young freshman is a tough guy when he's got the football. And already we're seeing the footing a little bit of an issue on this wet natural grass surface. Malat spins through the first tackle and gets the Montana State first down. I'm telling you, this, this freshman, he's not scared. The passing numbers have been good. He's protected the ball. The rushing numbers have been spectacular. He'll throw it here and completes it to McCutcheon again along the sideline for a positive first down game. Third and 14. Listen to how loud it is. We're just a few minutes into this game. Miller throws and it is caught. A leaping catch along the sideline by Watson. First down Bison. Yeah, monster game against Montana State in the playoffs two years ago when these two teams met. Miller slips as he tries to scramble. He's going to get the first down and more. The straight ahead quarterback run into Montana State territory. Final running lane. And the moment there was any type of daylight, took off running right up the middle. Easy conversion on third down, keeping the drive alive. The holding negates the nice run. Now Quincy Patterson in for the first time. The big, powerful running quarterback who is the starter for the Bison for the first part of the year. And that was a good gain on first and long. Patterson will fake it to Williams and Patterson with all kinds of room down the left side. There goes Patterson inside the 10 and finally pushed out of bounds at about the eight. It'll be first and goal. Patterson, Q Patterson delivers. Great decision in the run game. Once you see those two white jerseys peak in the backfield, it becomes a foot race to the outside. Great job by the tight end. Number 81, Josh Babichek getting there. Well, look at this. This close to being a touchdown, but good effort to stop him just short of the end zone. That was 34 yards. The Bison are three for three on third down already on their first drive. The little pitch play, broken tackle, touchdown. Hunter Lipke just knocking Bobcats down. High formation. They know Lipke's going to get the ball. The Bobcat defense was aware of that, but they still could not bring him down. Justin Talbert, the player, was down for North Dakota State. Did get up and walk off the field. Play fake. Grovig throws and a nice catch. Upended Nate Stewart. Hung on to the football for a first down conversion. And you see him go up. Ball's high. It gives up his body. Lane Sumner alongside of the backfield. Rovig now designed quarterback run for him. And look at Rovig go. First down and much more to the sideline and ducking out of bounds. An offensive line clearing out space, winning their battles. Good job by Tuiasa Sopo, number 51, the right guard with a nice B-gap running lane to run through. Rovig showing some to try and gain control of this football game. Miller in the pocket on second down, throws wide open. Christian Watson gets tackled in midfield. First down, Bison. They are so happy to have him back. And he's got the speed to do a difference maker that can absolutely burn. Here's Lipke, and he's got a huge hole. Lipke, first down and more. He does a fantastic job with the kickout block. Coming around there, wham! That's that wham block right there, springs him. That allows Lipke to pick up big yardage. As we start quarter number two, at first or second down and short, Lipke untouched his second touchdown. He's going to get the football, but the offensive line does such a great job. And you see the All-American linebacker, Troy Anderson, over pursues. Lipke with one cut gets into the end zone untouched. Second down and long, and a run straight ahead and squirting through. Kobe Johnson, there he goes. Johnson with Watson leading the way. Touchdown, 76 yards. Wow. And they fail. I mean, this right here, they have an opportunity to bottle them up. They lose track of where the ball carrier is. Callahan O'Reilly could not spot Johnson, and Kobe Johnson does the rest. Guys of that nature, 
One thing's a constant. That offensive line has been great, and the fan base is tremendous. They expect to win championships in Fargo. Sumner returning this kick outside the 25. The return game's been pretty good for the Bobcats. You don't want to be that team that did not win the championship. Rovig across the middle, and it's intercepted. Dawson Weber's having a big game, and that's a Bobcats turnover. It's all Bison right now. This looks like it gets away from him here. Fakes the pitch and supposed to did and just misfires. Great job by Dawson Weber. Reading the keys. And things just not going well for Montana State. For Montana State. Rovig will throw, and it is going to be caught. How about that? Wow. <laughs> Lance McCutcheon, the big play guy for a first down. They're a little bit too soft on the outside. You have to reroute the wide receiver. You cannot. That's dead. Here comes Lipton. Patterson with more blocks. There goes Patterson. Quincy Patterson inside the 30. Yeah, where are the linebackers? They're doing run stuffing blitzes, and they're not accounting for the quarterback in the running game. Where are the linebackers? You're relying on your safeties. But second and two. Miller, the quarterback, leaves the backfield. They direct snap it to Lipke. Lipke, touchdown, his third of this championship game. This time you've got two lead blockers there. Shows the patience, and now it's all about shoulder pad level and the will to get into the end zone. I believe they do. They've been doing it for a decade, for several decades. Handoff, that's Kobe Johnson had the long touchdown run. He breaks a tackle of Troy Anderson. Man, he's good too. See him come across the lead blocker. Once he forces Anderson to take that shuffle step, that allows Johnson to get outside to pick up. <laughs> Look at that average. He's saying, give me the ball a little more. Got now, him. a misdirection play. Wide open, Babbage the tight end. Touchdown. Pay attention so much to the running game. Nobody even saw Babbage come across the formation. He started off lined up to the right, came across with a drag route wide. Ifonze didn't get the handoff. They throw it up. McCutcheon fights for the ball and comes down with it. Just kind of a evo on fourth and one. The ball to the running back, then he would not have gotten it. Ifonze would have been short. Then just give a chance. One on one, they like their chances. And McCutcheon, who didn't make those big catches in the first half, comes up big here. So 24 yards to make it first and goal, Montana State. And I understand why you want to put some points on the board in a championship game. That field goal is up and good from 26 yards away. They're on the board. There's Bison football. You don't make the catch. Get back in there on special teams. Your shoulder pads <laughs> sticking out. Go block for the kicker. Who boots it right on through from 37 yards out. Lee Corso, big in Fargo. Kick return for Montana State. And a good return. Special teams has been a bright spot for the Bobcats. Elijah Elliott almost to midfield. Pass yards, the rush yards, 11 touchdowns in three weeks. Leads him to the championship game as the eight seed. Alfonso bounces it right. Man, breaking tackles along the sideline for another Bobcats first down. Play fake over the top. McCutcheon jump ball touchdown. 28 yards and the first touchdown of this championship game for Montana State. Great football play here. When you're six foot three and the defensive back that's covering you is a bison legend. That is Williams on the move into Montana State territory. Another Bison first down. I think they would like to end this game with the football. Two minutes to go. FCS championship number nine for North Dakota State. And they are headed up into the concourse before the final seconds tick off with the band to the stage.
to celebrate another national title in Fargo. Incredible. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.